Hello, welcome YouTube to JSEEB number one again. Today I am uh, taking apart once again another hard drive. Please, if you want to watch, go ahead. Let's begin. Let's see what's in this thing. It's too small, but. Let's see if this one fits it. That one's too big. Too big, too small. Hopefully this one's just right. Yep. Let's see what's in this board this time. Ooh, this one has more components on it. Looks like this one has a inbound. Oh, what's that model number again? I can't see it. LSI microcontroller. Another mic. That one looks like memory. That one is a microprocessor microcontroller. This might be a analog to digital converter. There's a op amp. There's a diode. There's a bridge rectifier. There's a few other diodes. A few, there's a resistor array. There's a capacitor. There's an inductor. And that's basically what's all on this. And then there's a motor. Well, let's dig into this one. This one may be different. I don't know. This is kind of hard to do at one handed. At least one great thing out of these hard drives, you get magnets and uh, well, tons of screws. Looks like there's a screw right there. On FYI, this one was a Segna gate. It's a 500 meg, 500 gigabyte one. The companies always hide those underneath, hide the screws underneath paper. Now we don't get access into it.
This one doesn't have windows. So I'm guessing that it just peels off. There's an, once again another freaking screw. Why is there so many screws on this thing? There we go. Going to scrap in. Well, here's what it is. There's a magnet. The magnet's underneath there. First, let me just remove these CDs. That's going also into the scrap in. At least one great thing about these. Ah, uh, this one's different. They use an even smaller bit for this to hold the CDs in. Instead of using this type of bit, a hex, like 0.7 millimeters, they use a 0.9 millimeters. If even that. Smaller it looks like. Is there any other smallers I got besides that one? Here's a smaller. I I'm gonna get through the C D one way or another. Uh, where's my tiny bits? That's too large. Asshole, too large. A little bit too large. Wow. They must use the micros. Let me try this one. Still too large. And wow. Looks like I'm not gonna get much out of this thing. Because they they use two different types of screws. One I do not have a bit to get into. Because it's way too small. Got myself a magnet, I guess. Still too small with screws. Why do they use different types of screws? Like, really? Come on. You guys don't want to get people in there that bad? Well, it's like we're in already, so why not? Why change up the screws? Well, this won't work. I guess not. 
I guess that's just gonna have to end it where where it is now since when I don't have no more tools to get into it. Thanks for watching YouTube. Please rate, comment, subscribe for more videos. This is episode number 24 by the way. Bye.